Hey guys, welcome to Swatch Fest. This is it. This is the special Swatch Fest. This is the 200th Swatch Fest on my channel. That means every single Saturday for four years, you and I have hung out in this Swatch Fest. Or maybe you're just new to my channel and that's cool too. You have a lot of Swatch Fest to catch up on if you want to. If you like this style of video where we just kind of chat for a while, this is definitely a sit back and relax kind of video. Maybe have something to do like painting your nails and we're just gonna chat. So welcome to the Swatch Fest. I know I talked about this a lot last week. I wanted to make sure you all entered the giveaway. We're gonna be having lots of giveaways today, you guys. So I really hope you entered. Basically, there's going to be five smaller giveaways. There's gonna be two medium sized giveaways and they're each going to receive the smaller item as well. And then there's gonna be one big giveaway at the end that's gonna receive all of it so good luck to everyone I'm going to be drawing names just like I always do I'm gonna use a random number generator and I pull the entries from last week's watch fest I told you guys to make sure to enter and you need to be subscribed you need to make sure your subscriptions are public so I can check that right so let's go ahead and get started you guys we have so much to cover so we better get into it I'm actually gonna kick things off right now with a giveaway. Let me explain really quick what I'm giving away. So these first two giveaways are going to be custom polishes that I made just for this event. So like I said, you guys, I'm in the mood to celebrate. I like to celebrate and commemorate with polish. Polish is my jam. If polish wasn't your jam, then you wouldn't be here either. So I actually created a polish that's kind of like this shade. I'm wearing it today. And I decided I wanted to make a polish called Swatch Fest Squad because I want to celebrate you guys. I want to celebrate the fact that we are a squad and we hang together every single Saturday unless I have a major life crisis or some major event that I wasn't able to plan around. But we hang, that's what squads do and they're there for each other and you guys are there for me. I'm here for you. You can count on me to be here when you need a video to just relax and not think about your problems, you can instead think about my problems. You can think about, hopefully not too many of my problems, and nail polish on Saturday. And I appreciate that you guys come, so I wanted to celebrate by making a polish. So, I have a trio of neons releasing in July, and so I'm in total neon mode. I've just been thinking, breathing, sleeping neon for like the past few months. So I decided to create another one. And so Swatch Fest Squad is a neon orange red, and this is kind of a jelly, like a jelly curly hybrid. It's right there in between because it's filled with flippy flakies that go from pink to orange to gold. And it also has a unicorn pea-esque pigment. We've been talking about that a lot lately. Basically, it's a bright red to green shifting pigment. This polish is already red, so mostly you're seeing the golden green coming off of the polish in this one in particular um, and it's meant to build up so that you can see those flakies build. I'm going to be giving away eight of these today. Yes, we are having eight giveaways and then I decided, I was thinking, I was like, you know, it's really fun to make a limited exclusive polish but eight is a little bit too exclusive and if this polish is really called Swatch Fest Squad, I want to make it available to my whole squad. So those who are receiving it today for free in this giveaway will receive it early, but it will go ahead and launch on my website on July 13th with the trio of neons that I'm releasing. And they look like this, by the way. So yes, that's coming soon, but for those of you who win today, will receive this now and you'll be able to join the squad ASAP. I actually just learned from YouTube the other day that they're making a part of your YouTube interface as a creator where you can link directly to your merchandise. So if I figure out how to do that, I'll let you guys know and you can basically just like go straight from this video, I guess. I don't know how to use it yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. And I'm kind of maybe thinking about doing a Swatch Fest inspired polish every month and doing it through the rainbow, just like Swatch Fest. What do you guys think? I'm thinking like, Next month will have to be pink and then orange. And it sounds really fun to me. So I have some ideas up my sleeves already, you guys, but without any further ado, I now explain this polish to you. Let me go ahead and give it away. Okay, so right now I'm gonna get, be giving away two bottles of this polish and every person who wins today will also receive one. My very first winner of the day is 
Jessica Rivero. Congrats to Jessica. And I really, really hope you enjoy this, you guys. I hope that you know by now that I make all of my polishes with love, but this one was made with so much love in it for each one of you. And see the color? It's just like, that's the color of my love. It's vibrant, it's strong, it's powerful and it's coming straight to you. So congrats to Jessica. By the way, in case this is your first Swatch Fest, I give away polish each week. I give away six polishes from my D-Stash, which are basically one-time swatch polishes, and I send them to one winner each week. So make sure you're always commenting in the comments of Swatch Fest so that I can have names from which to choose my winners. So we had about 100 more comments last week than we usually do, so it's taken me a little while to count through um, and find my number that the random number generator gives me but I'm gonna go ahead and give away the second polish swatch fest squad is going to Carmen Fonseca so thank you for entering Carmen all you need to do is go down to the description bar find my business email there send me an email and I will verify that you are who you are and then we'll talk about where I can send your winnings so there we have our first two giveaways right off the bat. Let's go ahead and talk about some polish. So for red, I have a never enough polish. I've been meaning to swatch this one forever and I, they just swim to the bottom of my swatch vest bin and so they don't get swatched. This is called Cozy in there, which was inspired by Glenn from The Walking Dead. I think this was from the fandom months, right? Anyway, this is a very brown toned um, red polish and it has just tons of scattered silver holographic dust going all throughout this polish. It gets really nice in two coats, so let's go ahead and swatch it. polish pickup in this swatch fest because I did just get my polish pickup order from June yesterday right before I'm filming this video uh, so I got to choose the five other polishes to put in this video and I kind of picked a lot of polish pickup um, but the other thing is I need to talk to you about polish pickup because the window for July is opening soon so we'll talk about that in a minute next up for pink I have this really beautiful china glaze that has all this gorgeous gold bright bright it almost looks I don't want to use the term glass fleck because we talked about that too much last time um, but it's kind of like that basically it's just a very bright shimmer and it's kind of where you can see the particles it's a little bit bigger anyway this one's called ahoy with an exclamation point and it's gorgeous I love a beautiful warm it's like a deep warm fuchsia and it's probably warmed up by all that gold shimmer so it's awesome let's go ahead and swatch it I did two coats talk to you about polish pickup real quick because it's coming up soon so basically if you didn't hear me talk about it the last few weeks polish pickup is going to be a flashback month this month the makers or the headquarters of polish pickup they're taking the month off so each maker is individually selling their flashback polish so how I did it is I pulled my Moonshine Mini Facebook group and asked them which polish they want to return and they picked my Harry Potter polish from November which was fandoms this is inspired by Harry Potter specifically um, the fight scene that takes place in book five in the Department of Mysteries and it's called Department of Mysteries this is a deep 
green leaning sapphire linear hollow. It has flippy flakies in there that are going from teal to purple. It also has aquamarine and hollow glitters in there. And it's just really, really sparkly, basically opaque at one coat. So for me, as a brand, I decided to just go ahead and list it on my website for the entire month of July. There will be no cap. Usually Polish Pickup is only on the Polish Pickup website for four days, but this month each maker is selling it themselves. That means that you kind of have to go to each of the different websites and purchase what you want. So it's not as convenient, but basically headquarters where they ship and organize everything, they needed a month off. So instead of just taking the whole month as a break, each maker is able to bring back one of their popular polishes so that uh, their customers can purchase it, have a second chance to purchase it basically. The other thing that you'll find starting July 1st on my website is that I'm having a mystery listing again. If you want to find out what polishes will be in that mystery listing, it's another thing that you'll find at the Moonshine Mini Facebook page. There's a whole list of what polishes will be in that mystery listing. Basically, in a nutshell, it's every polish pickup polish that I did in the last, I started in October. I have limited quantities of everything, so it's first come, first serve. Each mystery polish will be $11, and you are welcome to let me know in the comments of your order what polish you're hoping to get, but there's no guarantee you'll get that polish because that's just kind of like a way to guide me to know what I could get you that you will like but it's a mystery listing, so basically you get what you get what you get. Um, there are a few other polishes in there besides just polish pickups, so look in the Facebook group and you will see what polishes are going to be available. So my polish pickup starts on July 1st and goes for the whole month, but all the other brands, they have like a specific time that they're gonna be selling their products. So go to the Polish Pickup Facebook page and you can follow there and see what all the brands are releasing. All right, so right now I'm going to draw three more names. Each person will receive their very own Swatchfest Squad polish. My first winner of another Swatchfest Squad polish is Danny Evelyn. Congrats to Danny, you know how to do. Just go down to the description bar and find my email. The next winner of a Swatchfest Squad polish is Rebecca W. There are likely a number of Rebecca W's that are watching this video, but your uh, username needs to look exactly like this for you to be the Rebecca W that's winning this giveaway. And also your user picture is a beautiful smiling face tilted a little bit to the side with blonde hair. So that's the Rebecca W I'm talking about. Congrats to Rebecca. And the next winner of the Swatchfest Squad polish is TKAMB505. So TKAMB, maybe for Amber, I don't know. But this is how your screen name looks. And if that is you, congratulations. You are my fifth winner of the Swatchfest Squad Polish. So all of you who have won so far, you guys know. You find my email in the description and you send me an email letting me know that you heard that you are the winner. And I'll verify that you are who you are. So let's go ahead and move on to orange and yellow. So my orange polish is not really orange, but it has some orange qualities, so I stuck it in here. This is the gorgeous Solar Flare from Polish for Days. We drew it last week. Um, out of the swatch fest bin and it has a beautiful bright orange to green shifty micro flaky component that's kind of like unicorn pea. You guys know I kind of just throw that term around now because it's the one that's very prominently used to mean a red to green shift. It also has beautiful, um, they look pink, orange, green iridescent flakies in here. This is in like an almost black base and it also has the micro hollow flakies I believe. Anyway, it's really dense with all the components in there. It's beautiful. It's nice and shifty. This came from the April Polish pickup. And so let's go ahead and take a look at it.
kind of a yellow green, but it's going to fit in this spot. This is the Polish Polish. I always have fun saying that. You guys know what I'm talking about by now, right? Um, they spell their name P-A-H-L-I-S-H. This is Shy Guys on Stilts from this very last, most recent um, polish pickup from June, and this was inspired by Yoshi in the video games month. And it's just so cute. So this one also has lots of iridescent flakies. They're like blue to pink to green. I see some shimmer in there. I'm seeing like some bright orange maybe. It might also have orange to green. It's just you can't see the green because of the base of this. It also has the um, holographic flakies in there. So this is really pretty. At two coats, you're still seeing a little bit of nail line, so you could definitely build up to a third coat. It just depends on how much of this you want to lay down on your nail. I'm just doing two coats today. that I want to admit to you right now. I'm a little concerned that I was so highly recommending that book series last week because right after I did, I continued listening to the fifth book and it basically turns into erotic fiction because all of the couples that have been waiting to couple up for the whole series finally do. Like right after where I was, where I was recommending it to young adult readers. Now you remember I did say last week it was young adult until like the third or fourth book and then it was like definitely adult. But the fifth book is like like all sex for like a number of chapters so just be aware I did not know that before I was letting you guys this was a young adult author I'm pretty sure she still is but there's lots of sex in book five so just be aware also I like an idiot didn't do my research and it's not the last book I just got to the end of it I'm getting around to like the fourth to fifth chapter before the end and I'm like there's a lot of story left to be told, guys. This cannot be the end of this book. And sure enough, it ends with like, you know, wide open, tons of possibilities, and there's another book coming in October. So I just wanted to give that little a disclaimer about my recommendation last week. I still do like the series, but yeah, there's a lot of descriptive stuff for the love scenes in book five. So just be aware of that. So, we are going to go ahead and do another giveaway. So these next two giveaways are going to take it a little step up. The winner is still going to receive the red, orange, coral Swatch Fest Squad Polish, but they're also going to receive a whole collection. This first winner is going to receive an entire Essie collection. So, what I was doing when I was thinking about this giveaway was I was like, which mainstream collection have I really enjoyed recently that I would wholeheartedly want to give to one of you and I was like China Glaze no Color Club no I, although I really do like Color Club you guys know but I was like OPI no not even Zoya I love Zoya you guys but the, the brand that I've been telling you guys has been exciting me the most lately is Essie so the winner will get the choice of either the Essie summer collection or the spring collection I'm hoping that by giving you this choice that you won't already own both of these collections and you can pick which one you think might be more up your alley. So here's the SE Spring, that's what that one looks like. And then here's the SE Summer. Okay, so you guys ready? Let's go ahead and pick a winner for this giveaway. My winner, drum roll, is Sarah Rennick. Yay! Congrats to Sarah! So Sarah, I hope you don't have both of these full collections, but if for some reason you do, you know we will work something out and I will get an SE collection to you that you don't have yet and that you can thoroughly enjoy. So send me an email, you know my email, and um, let's pick a collection for me to send to you. All right, fantastic. Let's move on to green. Okay, so this green polish is my only kind of bummer of the week. I didn't really like this one very much because it was very sheer. The color is really pretty, but it was super duper sheer at 
three coat, did I do three? I think I did three and it was still like way too sheer. This is called Polo Can You Go? And I mean, you could wear this as a topper if you wanted to. It's not really a jelly base. It's just a really, really sheer cream, Crelly-ish base. It's not really going to show a jelly sandwich. Like, it's not going to show the glitters in between. I don't know. I just, I didn't really think that this polish was for me. I wish it had a better formula though because that color is awesome. I need to make something in that color. So, Polo Can You Go? Let's swatch it. up I have a blue and this is called Be Happy. It's number 982 from Simple Colors. This is a very nice shade. This one needed a lot of shaking up and I don't think I even got it quite shooken up enough. Shooken? Shaken? For this video um, because it was still kind of being a little patchy but the color is really pretty. You know for only two dollars you guys know I love simple colors I thought about just giving you guys a simple colors collection but they're so hard to track down I would have given you the whole Vanessa Hudgens collection because I really like that one too but that would have been like impossible for me to track down so anyway this is be happy let's go ahead and swatch it at two coats makeup today I'm just gonna tell you really quickly a few things because I've already talked so much I ran into these blushes at Rite Aid when I was there uh, picking up when I found the Crayola summertime collection and um, they're these highlighter blush hybrids they're really really shimmery blushes and I picked up those and I actually wore both of them today I'm looking really highlighty ish I didn't even notice that yet before right now before I turned my head and I was like whoa so I wore them as blushes and I just took them all the way up to there because they are also highlighters I feel like and I mixed the two because the pink one was a little bit too pink for me for this eye makeup look so I mixed the two on my eyes I have Anastasia um, the Mon modern renaissance palette on my eyes and then on my lips today I'm wearing this hourglass mini that I got in my Sephora favorites thing that I'm still making my way through this is called futurist and it's nice it feels a little bit grainy to be honest with you but it's nice it just looks like that it's a crayon I like I like lip crayons a lot actually so that's on my face let's pick another winner so this next winner is going to receive an entire collection but this time I'm gonna give you an entire collection of my polishes so I'm really hoping that this winner does not already own the moonshine mani the supers collection because that's what I'm gonna give away to you I thought about giving away the most recent collection which was the Saturday Night Laughs collection or giving away my next upcoming collection which is the Wake Me Up Neons but I decided to go ahead and give you the six piece supers collection it's a nice big collection by the way I didn't mention before but I planned this giveaway to be about two hundred dollars worth of product that I'm giving away for two hundred swatch fest it's actually a little bit more than that but it's it's like a rough approximation so that uh, the collection fits in nicely for that too it's sixty dollars on my website and this giveaway will be going to one winner who will also be receiving the swatch fest squad polish with their supers collection so my winner let's go ahead and access my random number generator my winner is sparkly blue h2o so that's a pretty unique name I'm pretty sure there's not 
two of you that go by that name, um, whoever you are, I hope that you heard that you are my winner and send me an email where we will verify you are who you are and I want to know where I can send these polishes. Maybe this will be your first Moonshine Manny that you will try out and I hope that you love it. So that's it for that giveaway. We have one more big one coming up at the end of the video. Next up we have purple and neutral. So my purple polish is this uh, polished by J. Reen. I'm not sure. I'm thinking that's how you say it. J. Reen. And this is called Doppelganger. And this was also in the um, video games month for Polish Pickup last month. And it's this beautiful purple metallic. It's made up of tiny micro metallic flakies, I think. And then it has um, pink, green, gold, um, multi-chrome flakies. Couldn't think of the word for a second there. In here, it does it have iridescent flakies. I think it's just multi-chrome. Anyway, it's beautiful. It was purple. I had been dying to try the J. Reen polishes, so this was just fake. It was set up ready to go for this last polish pickup. So I loved it. It's definitely bordering two to three coats, so you know, you apply how you like to. I just did two for the sake of today's video, but I think that the next time I wear this, I'm going to make sure to do three coats of this beauty and really build up all that color. I want to share with you if you remember when I drew this out of the bin last week um, this kind of reminds me of more cowbell by moonshine Manny it's this like bronzy black and brown that has all this beautiful golden bronze almost greeny shimmer it doesn't have glitters and hollow and all that kind of stuff but it does have a very beautiful shimmer so I looked at Kiko website last week when I was filling out the description tab and it seems like They've really pared down right now. Maybe having their $1 sale on all these polishes has depleted their um, warehouse quite a bit. So I'm sorry, I, I fully still recommend them to you. Any polishes that you can get on their site, um, I think you'll enjoy, but there's a lot less there than when I originally made my first Kiko purchase where I bought like 40 polishes. Um, so yeah, there's not like as much to choose from, but maybe they will be restocking soon I hope. So anyway, this is number 514. the final giveaway this one's the whopper so this winner is going to get their own copy of swatch fest squad they're also going to get to choose whether they want the se spring or the se summer you get to choose you're also going to get the moonshine manny the supers collection you're gonna get all those things so lots of polishes coming your way I'm so excited to send them to you my big winner of the 200th swatch fest on my channel is Linda McCormick it's spelled just like this there may be a number of you but Linda you have short kind of dirty blonde hair perhaps to here and I think you have glasses on in your picture and you're smiling and you're so so cute so Linda Send me an email, we will chat. I want to know where I can send these polishes to you and I'm so, so excited to send you this care package. So, that was the last giveaway, you guys. I don't even think we have time to draw polishes for next week in today's video because we have had so much fun with giveaways and I've been talking so much, so we're just gonna move right into the last two polishes now. Okay, so the last two polishes, I have a glitter and my A plus polish. My glitter this week comes from Zoya and this is this super 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 beautiful 
I wish that they would do more polishes like this these days, but they have really been taking a break from glitters and stuff. This is Thea, T-H-E-A, and it has lots of holographic glitters in different sizes. Um, mine is kind of sunk, but it really did not affect the appearance on the nail. It's a beautiful, deep, royal, almost kind of plummy purple. It's so beautiful. I did three coats. You could probably just get away with two. Definitely lots of top coat with this one. It says it's a pixie dust. I actually didn't even notice that because I was just staring at all the beautiful holographic glitter. So this is gorgeous. I'm just sad I waited so long to swatch it. Up. This is my A plus polish of the week. Basically, if you're new, I pick an A plus polish. That means it was my favorite one I wore all week out of all these polishes, but I did have a lot of really great ones. This polish happens to be my first Bees Knees lacquer, which is exciting. It also happens to be the polish that they're going to bring back for July. So I picked this one up a while ago and I just hadn't swatched it yet. Ugh, I hate it when that happens, but there's too many polishes and so little time. But it's kind of perfect because I'm about to swatch this for you and if you like it, you can get it in July because they're bringing it back as their fan favorite. So, this is called Bubbling Candle and it is a mega flaky in like this blue-green base. The flakies are going from gold to green to blue. I'm seeing some like red or pink in there. It's so fantastic. Super opaque on the nail in two coats. There is so much packed into this polish, you guys. So. I love it. It's awesome. Okay, so usually this is where we pick a winner for Swatch Fest, but we have already gone through that part, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video with another huge thank you for being here. Thank you for being here each week, and I just love you guys so much. I really appreciate your time that you come to spend with me, the family, the community that I find here that I can just rely on that gives me comfort the friendship and the support. You guys are just fantastic and every week when, if I'm having a bad week and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I have to clean out the pool again from a giant mess that happened in the pool that I don't really wanna talk about because it's gross, but you guys can imagine what I'm talking about. Or, um, you know, I have a sick kid or I my not sick kid that keeps me up all night long, but I'm not getting a lot of sleep. I always look forward to Swatch Fest and getting to sit here with you guys and just reconnect and it's a really important part of my week and I love that it is for many of you as well. Thank you for celebrating with me today. If you didn't win, I hope that you're happy for those who did win and you know we have giveaways every single Saturday so I'm excited to send you polish next week. Thank you all for entering and thank you for being excited for those who did win. I was so happy to be here with you guys. Thank you for celebrating with me today. It was so exciting and thank you for all the awesome comments last week. Everyone who was congratulating me for my hard work. I will accept that congratulations because it was a lot of hard work. It is. Every week it is hard work but I I'm happy to do hard work that makes me happy. 
Does that make any sense? I love my job is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, Swatch Fest isn't much of a job. It's more, <laughs> it never really became a paying job. It's still much more of like a hobby, but I take it seriously, you guys. You know I take it seriously. Anyway, thanks for being here with me. I hope you go out and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Have a great weekend. I can't wait to talk to all of you who won. I can't wait to read your emails and to send you these polishes. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks for coming by. I will see you back for the next video very soon. Take care until then. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.